us to use film cameras anymore. Most of our photography is digital now, but we still have hundreds or thousands of old photos sitting around in albums and envelopes that were produced the old-fashioned way. Now, hopefully, most of these photos are stored in albums, protected somewhat from the ravages of air and light. But the sad truth is, our memories are going to fade as long as they're consigned to paper. So one project that we should all consider is taking these old photos, these precious pictures, and scanning them into your computer to preserve them, to share them, and in some cases, to restore them. This is a great do-it-yourself project, and it's quite rewarding when you complete your task. But the best news is it's becoming much easier thanks to some great advancements in technology. The advancements in technologies are represented here. This is HP Scanjet G4050. It is a six-color scanner. The industry standard for scanners is three-color. Every scanner we've ever looked at on the show separates color into red, blue, and green. But the G4050 separates into red, orange, yellow, green, cyan, and blue, which is way better for things like flesh tones and preserving our memories. Now, each of the colors that we scan in is sampled at 16 bits per pixel meaning that we have 96 bits for every pixel that we scan in. And this is very important when we're scanning in small items, things like our negatives, because when we scan in a negative, a slide negative, we want to be able to enlarge it. We don't want to look at it as a tiny little image like that. We want to be able to enlarge it. So the more information that we capture when we scan in a slide, the better. So let's take a look at the process of scanning in. Now, typically speaking, you're going to have your photos all over the place. You're going to have some slides. You're going to have some negatives. You're going to have some, some people archive their photos in a baggie. This isn't me, but this is a, in a baggie, but this is typical. You've got these precious memories all over the place. So we have to handle different media types when we're scanning them in. So let's start with our transparent media, things like slides, because quite often they're in excellent shape still. So we've got this adapter here, which will allow us to place slides on this platen and be able to scan them in from this adapter. And how that works, because we're scanning in slides, we need a light source behind it because we have to have light coming through. So there's a light source built into the lid here, which will match the capture down below, we simply put the slides on the plate, close it, and now we launch our software. Our software is HP Solution Center, which manages the entire scanner. We choose Scan Film, and what it'll do is it'll do a quick pre-scan for us, and the nice thing is it will separate each of the images for us. Now, if we look up here, it says that it's going to scan them in 400% of the size. That's going to make them perfect for printing out as 4x6s. Now, it takes a few minutes to scan in slides because it scans in each one as an individual. I've already scanned in this set of slides, and I want to show you how they come out. Now, this is HP's PhotoSmart Premier software, which allows us to manage all of our images. And as it scans them in, we can see here, all we have to do is rotate each of the slides, and they're now not negatives anymore, but they're now color images all ready to go. And if we blow these up and print them out, they're going to look just great. Now, once we've scanned in all of our slides and negatives, then we can start dealing with all of our prints. And again, the software is going to help us out in a lot of different ways. Let's take some of these faded images because those are the ones that we care most about is resurrecting these and saving them before they fade much more. So I'm going to drop a couple here on the scanning bed and I'm going to ask it to scan the picture this time. So instead of scanning film, I'm going to scan a hard copy, scan a picture. And we can adjust the different presets if we want, but the presets are pretty good. They're going to do a really nice job of scanning everything in. Now it's going to do a pre-scan for me. And the pre-scan allows us to set all of our different parameters up. The first thing it does is it will separate the photo into individual files, or the photos into individual files instead of one large scan. This is going to save us a lot of time. We can put up to four or five photos on the scanner at the same time, and it will separate them into individual files. You can imagine how much time you'd save if you were scanning in 30 negatives at a time. It will the same intelligence will go through and separate each and every individual one of those photos for you and save them as individual files, so you're saving a lot of time when you're scanning in lots of memories. Now once it's scanned in the photos for us, or pre-scanned the photos, now we can set all of our different scanning parameters. And we have those available to us right here in down the right hand side. The one that I want to show you right away is the auto-correct photos. Now this is going to go through and it's going to do some hardware correction. Things like restoring faded color. It does a quite a nice job of restoring the sort of faded photos that I have here on the scanner right now. It'll also perform dust and scratch removal. A lot of photos are damaged slightly or negatives are damaged slightly. 
slightly. There's a little scratch in them and there's some dust damage, especially older black and white photos. They've sometimes, the ravages of time have created creases in them. It's going to go through and it's going to repair an awful lot of that. Now, when it's a badly damaged photo, you're going to have to manually go in and do some repair work, but this is going to kind of take care of the normal wear and tear. It also has access to HP's adaptive lighting, which is one of the real life technologies. And adaptive lighting is going to try and bring up the darker areas within an image. Now, these are technologies that were built for HP's digital cameras, and they work great, making us better photographers. And all of those different real life technologies are available to us within the scanning software now. So things like red eye reduction is all there, and color correction, lighting correction, that's all built in now so that we can take advantage of that when we're scanning in these older photos. Once you have all of your settings in place, we go through and we accept the changes and now the scanner takes over and it's going to scan each of those individual photos and you'll hear it, it'll actually run twice because it's going to scan in one photo at a time so you can imagine it's going to take quite a bit of time to scan in say 30 negatives, it's going to take a good five or six minutes but now it scans in those two photos once it's done, it asks us if we want to scan in more. So if we we're in a production mode, if we're scanning in lots of old photos, we would have them all ready to go and we put the next set on the scanner right now. Once it's scanned them in, it now brings us into HP's PhotoSmart Premier software, which ships with the scanner, and this allows us to manage the photos. And oh, wow, I can see right away that it's already done a pretty darn good job of restoring the color in this old photo. Look at that. It's already a pretty profound difference in color, much less yellow. It's starting to look more real life. And you can go through and you can correct it even more if you choose. Once you have all your photos scanned in and, if necessary, repaired, then you can share them. You can print out copies, email them, put them on the web, and most importantly, you can back them up and they will never fade again. This is one of those winter projects that you'll be glad you tackled. If you're going to put in the effort, you might as well do it right and use the right tool for the job. And in my opinion, the right tool is HP's G4050. All 26 episodes of Dotto Tech Season 3 are available to borrow at participating libraries. Check our website for details.